Your girl is back in her new body era. what's up y'all welcome to another weekly vlog girl i feel like i have not done a weekly vlog in a minute but we're back so as y'all saw in the morning we had like a really slow chill saturday morning i love just making breakfast girl no obligations no care in the world like it was really a vibe and javon and i are about to just be chilling in the house on this saturday tonight i do have a birthday dinner to go to so we're gonna do a little get ready with me I cannot wait for the weekends. Like Saturday, like a lot of people, is my favorite day. Cause when I say I do nothing, please don't invite me nowhere because I'm not going. At least during the day. Like Saturday, I just need time to refresh. Girl, it's been a long week. So Saturdays, me and Javon, we literally just lay in bed all day. So I don't really wanna give them sleep, but I wanna give them something like loungewear, which is why I'm so excited. I got some new loungewear that I'm about to show y'all. This brand, they did a little something, y'all. Thank you, Zegel, for being our sponsor of the day. Zegel is an online shop that has so many cute clothes, especially on the loungewear tip. So I'm gonna show you the little outfits I picked out and we're gonna pick which loungewear set I want to wear. Okay, y'all, so here's the first set. Real cute, real relaxing. I like that the material is super, super soft on this. So Zegel has a lot of different options on their website, whether you just want something chill, something a little bit more dressed up, whatever you want, baby, they got it. But I really like this. I feel like this can be a vibe for a Saturday, just chilling in the house. You know, it's just like, I don't wanna wear a sweatshirt, t-shirt, sweatpants. Like I wanna look cute around the house and I feel like this is the perfect vibe. I also got a black loungewear set, so let's try that on. Now this is actually real cute. It's very comfortable. It's got like a, como se I don't know. It's like a cotton material, very breathable. I love these shorts, y'all. I really like how these shorts feel. They're like a thicker material, so they feel nicely built. Now the next item I got is like, I guess it could be considered loungewear if you wear it right. I can't explain it, I'ma just show you. Okay, so it's literally a huge oversized zip down sweatshirt. This is what I need because I love things that zip down. Like I don't wanna feel constricted. This is so cute, girl. I could definitely be laid out in this outfit right here and call it a day. So if you are looking for a loungewear, everyday clothes, something for a special event, make sure to hit up Zigo. You can use my coupon code to get some money off. I have all the links in the description for you to browse their website and find something new for you today. What's up y'all? So it's time to get ready for Ali's birthday dinner. Okay, one thing about my friends, we're definitely gonna celebrate each other. And I haven't had a little night out, girls night out in a minute. So I'm excited, we're gonna get ready. I did take a shower and my hair is about, I will say like 80% dry. So we're just gonna pull it back. I do need to do my edges, but how are we feeling about the curly hair? I haven't done a weekly vlog in a minute, obviously, because y'all didn't go see me get my hair done, but I got some new tapes. I already have earrings on y'all because I was trying on my outfit because I refuse to be sweating with a fresh face of makeup on trying to find an outfit. There's no way. I will literally hyperventilate and not go. So we're just going to avoid that at all costs by, baby, we just going, we, I picked out the outfit already, basically. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to do like a cute little beat me down i don't even know where we're going y'all it was some some restaurant in atlanta though so hopefully it's good because a lot of restaurants be hit or miss so what's up girl like i feel like we've been talking so long honestly i've been fighting for my life like i've really just been kind of in a little funk for whatever reason so i'm glad to kind of just be back on the stuff that makes me happy like i love vlogging and genuinely is like a video diary for me so i'm glad to be vlogging again genesis is about to start soft foods like process or like um puree foods this week so we'll be doing that this week i honestly want to take a little weekend trip somewhere i'm not sure where javon and i have been really proactive and like trying to travel so we've been booking flights we're trying to travel every other month and just experience life in the world 
<laughs> now my best friend Eva is in Paris right now so she won't be joining us and I'm so sad because she literally is just everything her energy is always so amazing it's so fun like just going out with her or dinners or whatever sometimes she won't be there but my other girls is there still and we're definitely about to have a good time Allie is the girl who trains me. I don't know if y'all have ever seen her in a vlog, but she trains me. We've been friends for a minute now, so I'm just so excited to celebrate her birthday. We are always celebrating a birthday in my friend group. I feel like it's always somebody's birthday, and I'm here for it. I think for Eva's birthday, we're going to be going to New Orleans, so that'll be fun. That's not till May, but still. And I love you want to take a birthday trip too, y'all. Like, your girl will be 21. So where are we going? Where are we going? We should do a big. We should really do a big. I love this concealer. This is the concealer I'm using from Huda Beauty. It looks crazy, but it's in the color Coconut Flake. So I'm just gonna do a very minimal light beat. I like to prep my face with my skincare. It creates for the perfect base for when you're doing your makeup and just allows your makeup to glide on smoothly. I have been shaving my face as well, like once every month. So that's been helping with just the texture of my skin. I feel like my products and my makeup Applies so much better when I'm doing this. But we just gonna give them something very much light. Oh my gosh. I literally booked off this whole day. I did nothing all of today because I knew I was gonna take my time getting ready. Like I just love to take my time. Like it's just something that girls can do. And I feel like it's one of my favorite things about being a woman is getting ready for things because you can really be so extra. And that's my vibe. Oh, baby, I almost put blush as my contour. I do think I'm going to be Ubering, though, because I will not drive in Atlanta at night. There's just no way. I've been traumatized way too many times. So I think I'm going to ride with them there and then Uber home. I don't know, guys. I'm going to do this nice little beat on the face. And then I will talk to you once my makeup's done. So we can kind of fix up my hair and put on my outfit. I already know what I'm gonna wear y'all, but I did do these really cute lights in my closet. Y'all probably saw in the intro clip, but they look so good and I'm really proud of myself. So it's gonna be an amazing week, y'all. It's Saturday. I've been feeling a little funky, a little off like I told you, but I'm just excited to kind of get back into the swing of things this week and we're gonna be doing it together. Let me finish up my makeup, y'all. I'm about to vibe out to some music. And then I will come back so we can put on this little outfit. Okay. Makeup is done. Hair is done. It looks gorgeous, y'all. This is really so bomb. This is why I love getting curly tapes because they're so versatile. So, girl, I know what I'm about to wear because, <laughs> baby, I just ordered some new clothes. I'm also trying to film a TikTok at the same time. So, we're going to see how well this goes. Let me give him a little pose for the TikTok. Here's what we're doing yes immediately yes okay it will all make sense in the end just trust me so we're gonna do these statement pants with this black bodysuit okay baby i'm sweating this is why you gotta be real careful getting ready because you don't know what sweat you're gonna endure in the process these pants are so cute and they're just like comfortable like i like looking cute but i also cannot be out here like limping around and be very uncomfortable in what i'm wearing so these oh my gosh gorgeous and just the perfect statement i love these i also love my earrings y'all i got these little clip-ons from sheen sheen <laughs> look no further i said sheen i think i'm gonna do the gold jb dub on today because the gold JB Dub just does something. I've been loving these little Bottega dupes for these rings. So simple with the little, yeah, girl, with the little. Okay, I'm feeling better because I literally had no idea what I was going to wear. I think I'm going to also hit him with these sock boots just to like tie everything together. Oh my gosh, this actually came out so cute. Okay, I'm going to put my shoes on in a second, but what's the scent? All of these are literally from Dossier, y'all. Like, 
or dossier. It's called dossier, not dossier. Dossier. This is the dupe to Baccarat. Maybe I'm just a hater, but I literally do not like the smell of Baccarat. That's why I don't like the smell of that Sol de Janeiro one, like the light pink one. I hate the smell of Baccarat. I think it's so like harsh and it's over, it's overused, y'all. Like we didn't, we didn't use Baccarat up. Um, let's see. White flowers is nice. This is the opium dupe. The black opium. Maybe I'll do. Okay. Yeah, I'll do her. I'll do her. Okay, with the blackies. And then I think I'm going to wear a black purse as well. This is actually cute, y'all. I feel like we did something. Let me try on the boots to make sure they give. I feel like I'm getting so much more confident in my body postpartum. And I really love that for me, y'all, because it's been a struggle. I look beautiful. Okay, it's about to be a gross not ow. Gross not ow. The hair is cute. Okay, baby. Let's get into this girl's not out. <laughs> Damn right we take turns being wrong. I get real accountable when I'm alone. I get real about it all when I'm alone. It's so crazy when I get on. I really am not feeling the fit. Okay, so I was on TikTok yesterday and this girl had made a TikTok. Are we how are we how are we looking? I feel like the lighting is messed up. Whatever. So the girl, she was like, basically saying how she hasn't been a good friend to Jesus. And it really put it into perspective for me because I've been feeling like so distant from God, but also it's because I haven't been being a good friend, right? We talk about getting closer to God and we're like, how do we get closer to God? And it's like, how would you get closer to a person? Let's make it more simple. With any friendship, there's communication, you know, you set aside time for each other, your heart posture is right towards each other, you care about that person. And when you put that into perspective with your relationship with Jesus, like when you apply those same things, like you are going to feel closer to God than you've ever felt. And I haven't been doing that. I haven't been setting aside time. Like I haven't been having my heart posture be in the right position. And it's just like, I'm tired of it, girl. I'm sick and tired of it. Like. The beauty of it is we have the power to change. We have the power to repent and repent. Sometimes we look at repentance as this like scary word, like repent, repent. But the actual nature of repentance is to change, to change your ways. So when you look at it from a lens of like, I wanna change instead of like this scary word of like repent, repent. There is, there's beauty in repentance and turning your heart from the things that have been distracting you because there's a reason why like sometimes you'd be like i just don't know why like i just don't have time for god you got three hours to scroll on tiktok what are you talking about you got two hours to go and watch your favorite tv show you have the time you're just not prioritizing so today i made sure to prioritize girl i got my butt up and i was like i need to get to god because at the end of the day like with me i could do all the things on my to-do list i could girl go and just do it all and I still won't feel fulfilled because like God is my number one governing value and if I'm not making time for him on a daily basis it doesn't matter how much I try to perform I'll never add up because Jesus knows we'll never add up like that's the whole name of the game like we're never going to be enough but with Christ's love we are fulfilled like we're always going to be sinners by nature but it's through Jesus that we have this peace we have access to this fulfillment we have access to this joy that the world can never give you and I'm really having a talk with myself while I'm talking to y'all because it's really been hard y'all and I feel like sometimes we don't talk about like the struggle of our faith like the struggle of staying consistent the struggle of going to God even when you've sinned or even when you've backslid like those are struggles those are real things that we go through and I'm just here to tell you like nobody is perfect like everybody is going through something but to keep God at the forefront of whatever you're doing is crucial and so important and it's something I always preach to y'all. So this week is gonna really be filled with me getting serious about my faith 
and allowing God to position my heart in the correct way because when our heart posture is off I just one of my favorite prayers is like God give me a clean heart give me a clean heart because the heart can be so deceitful y'all the heart can be so deceitful so when you pray to God give me a clean heart you want your character to be aligned with who God has called you to be you want your thoughts to be aligned with who God has called you to be and that is going to allow your actions because your actions don't derive from just out of nowhere it's your thought life it's your heart posture so what you do is actually from inside what you do on the outside in the outside world comes from what's going on in here so God if you make in here okay I know what I'll do and how I'll show up is going to to be in align with who you've called me to be lord is this a podcast or are we going to the gym because you could have fooled me <laughs> okay y'all but we're about to get this workout and i just wanted to give you some encouragement and some words because i'm struggling if you struggling we struggling together but we can always get back on track and that's what we're about to do this week Yeah, yeah, mic check, mm -mm. mic check once, oh, can we please, I had a great workout, like that workout was really long, can this, alright, no, it was, I wasn't talking, so I'm about to do my skincare real quick, and Javon and I are going to film a video for the family channel, I think we're doing another cook with me, because y'all love our cook with me, so, I think we're gonna do like a Q&A type cook with me situation. I used this as my toner today. This is the key, y'all. All of their products literally will have your skin glowing. So what I do is I do like a regular moisturizer and then I go in with their moisturizer, where's it at? Because this is like that girl if you want that glass skin. But I like the Kiehl's moisturizer for more of like deep moisture, you feel me? Because this gets your skin glowing, but I feel like I need a double moisturize because I have really dry skin and it's colder out. But today is actually really nice out, y'all. So I don't know. Like when we're done filming, maybe. I don't know what I have today. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Today I'm launching. Well, we're launching episode two of our podcast. Thank you for all the support on episode one it's been really really fun making these episodes my best friend's actually in paris right now so we haven't been able to film in a minute but she'll be back i think next week girl so we'll be able to film more episodes for y'all and all that but that's literally just that moisturizer so i'm gonna let my face kind of like sit in for a little bit let all that stuff soak in i love this mask this is the real deal but i've been hearing like the berry one like that little pink looking one has like a lip tint to it. I kind of want to get that one, y'all. So let me see. Literally in like 10 minutes, we're about to launch episode two. Giving the girls very much sisterhood. Yeah, it's a whole moment. So for my serum, I'll either use a vitamin C if I need more brightness. If I just want to really be giving the girls Glowiana, I'll go in with this black snail collagen cream or collagen serum to kind of just, yeah. So girls night was really fun, y'all. Like it was really a situation. I feel like you just have to know the vibes. Like you just have to know the vibes. Like what does that even mean? I feel like our group, we just know the vibes. Like it's always a good time. Yeah. I'm gonna just say it was a good time. The restaurant we went to was so good. I think me and Javon are gonna try it out. Y'all, these little things literally just take an extra two minutes off your day. It will have you feeling so good. Like it really makes you feel like you're getting a whole facial. Oh, oh my gosh. Remember when I tried these on you? Uh, yeah, a little. It feels so good. And I feel like it decongests my face because my face be a little puffy some days Ooh, i think this work week i've honestly been planning out like my work week's way better y'all i feel like i'm not as stressed and overwhelmed so that's good i think i only have besides this vlog one other video to film this week and usually i'll be having like three videos to film so love that for me but i'm about to get dressed and then we're gonna film for the family channel so i will talk to y'all a little bit later what's up y'all so it's later today and i want to do an amazon unboxing with y'all because i told you 
Genesis is gonna start her pureeing and I ordered a whole bunch of stuff on Amazon for this journey. Why is this open? Immediately sketchy. Why is this open? It literally came open. What it's is, her bottle. Is the plastic open too? Yeah. Y'all gonna have to run me the money because yeah. I'm not. No, Amazon. Yeah, so this is going back, but what it is is a bottle spoon. Hold on, how does this work? Here we go. So basically, I'm going to start with like the cereal. Well, that's what like the pediatrician has told us. So you can't, at least us, like we've been at a loss because I don't know how people put the cereal in their bottles because it clogs up the nipple and she can't drink the milk. So we're gonna put it in here where we can just kind of disperse it. And it also allows her to get her motor skills with eating. This is like a silicone material. So it definitely is going to help her. Look at this babe. So we put the milk in here in the cereal and disperse it. And it's like a silicone. That's dope. So she can start. I like that. But yeah, I don't like that. It came open, but yeah. So if anybody is out there, in the same boat as me, please send me recipes for her food because y'all, it's my first day out here, girl. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm trying to do a little one too. I really do want to make her food consistently. I don't want to buy store-bought food. It's just so much more cost efficient and healthier for a baby to just make it at home. So that's what we going to do. Okay. So I got a whole bunch of storage containers and honestly, this was the best deal I ended up finding on Amazon. I think it was $18 for an 18 pack or it might have been more i'll have everything linked down below but just so i can freeze them and have more storage like back stock of this stuff so here's how the little containers look and then there's different lids like i said this is an 18 pack so definitely have quite a lot and they're just simple little containers but definitely needed these so i can start doing the thing like oh my goodness y'all first it was breastfeeding now it's this like there's new ventures there's new ventures okay so this is a baby nasal aspirator genesis is always congested y'all and all the pediatrician says is, it's normal it's natural very congested da, 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 da. i'm like no my baby can't breathe so i got her this and we'll test this out and see if it works I'm excited because if there's a solution to this, I will be very grateful. Is this the the kit? Yeah, okay, so this is a feeding set. So I'm gonna show you what comes in here. I thought this was the cutest thing ever. Oh, these are so cute. We've got her bowl. This is like the sticky bowl. So this will stick right to the counter, especially when she starts to like actually eat soft foods. She's gonna be grabbing and like the thing can go flying. So you stick this down to the counter and it suctions as y'all can see. The thing ain't moving, okay? It's not moving. It's not moving. Okay. And then we've got her little spoon that comes with it. Look out. I need a little spoon. He is. Oh my goodness. Look at this little spoon, baby. This tiny little spoon for her to grab with. And then there's also a bowl. Same thing. Sticks down to the surface. It don't move. Oh, okay. It comes with multiple spoons. So you've got three. A little cup. It's the little cup for me. Like, what? Not the little cup, y'all. This is so cute. And then, of course, her bib. Now, these are great because silicone and whatever falls will fall right in here. So, this was the set. I think this was $30. And then the only thing we're missing is her puree machine. So, I got, like, the two-in-one steamer and um, pureeer. And it's actually from this brand, Groans. So, it's from this brand. Hopefully it comes in later this week and we can start making some baby food. Again, please drop some recipes because your girl's in neat. But yeah, if she wakes up within the next 30 minutes, we'll go on a walk. And yeah, girl, just want to show you if you a mother in the same boat as me. Oh, I'm going to walk. Do you want to go to walk? These are literally still by far the best onesies she has. And they're the kite, the kite dupes i love these she hasn't worn this one in a minute we're probably about to go on a walk stop my nails keep popping off y'all i did not put them on good <laughs> they literally keep popping off hold on 
Oh my gosh, she had the worst poop, y'all. It was so gross. Ever since she started eating like her little oatmeals and stuff, her poops be stank. Stank. Don't pull on the camera. I just told you not to do that, and you are. You're gonna hurt yourself. Stop. Now she wanna touch everything, y'all. I do have to run some errands, but I don't know if today's the best day to do that. Oh, and I look super crazy. That's also why I'm probably not in the best mood. But um, yeah, y'all, I'll probably update y'all a little bit later. I think we're gonna go on a walk because fresh air is always good and helps me to be in a better mood. More packages. More baby packages. Ciao. I just had me a whole little breakdown. Clearly. Y'all see how I look? I was just talking to God. Pouring my heart out as I do. And I signed up for therapy. So, I mean, I guess it was a, a productive breakdown. Something came out of it, you know? And sometimes it takes you getting to that point for you to change. I've been new. I needed to go to therapy. You know what I mean? Like, the childhood trauma be childhood trauma -y. And I don't know why. I don't know why. I've always had like this resistance, I guess because like it's going to literally make me come to terms with a lot of things. It's going to make me unpack things. And I think that's something I've been scared of because it's a lot, you know, um, but you girl sign up for therapy and I'm starting in two days. I will let you guys know updates on how it's going, but I know this is like a new chapter for me and I'm just proud of myself for taking this step because like I said it's been a long time coming um because just as much as you pray and just as much as you put your faith in God God has also equipped people here on earth to help you deal with your problems so it's very very important to pray and also seek therapy and seek help and use the resources you have here on earth you've been needing confirmation to start your actual healing journey and unpacking things Girl, take your butt to therapy. I signed up on better help. And um, yeah, so your girl's in therapy. But for the haul, we've got I don't know, I literally lost her lotion, y'all. I don't know where her lotion went, but it disappeared out of nowhere. So I got her some more of this, and this also works really well in her hair. It's been the only thing to work in her hair. So I think this is her pure rayer. So this is for her baby food. So it's from the brand Groans, like I told y'all. And here's how it looks. It's called the Electric Food Processor. So I think we'll start making her food tomorrow. I'll probably have to go to the grocery store. And then y'all, I actually wanna try these out today. These are called Fresh Food Feeders. So basically they're like a mesh net material and you can put <coughs> frozen fruit into these so she can chew on them as teethers while still getting to like explore the different tastes of fruits. So I think I'm actually going to put some frozen strawberries in these so she can start to munch on those. Look, she's already looking at it like, what is that? Let's see how well, how does it work, Timata? Ah, why is everything, I've been having so much difficulty just opening things, like I don't understand. Oh, oh, cause it's like baby proof, you gotta, Squeeze and pull. Okay, these are so dope. I, I literally saw these on TikTok and I was like, immediately, yes. I'm so easily influenced. I think I'm also feeling like not the best because I literally look like not, not, not that girl. I'm gonna just say that. Like, I am not looking how I need to look. So tomorrow I'm gonna do a self care day, but I'm gonna um, do like a postpartum edition. So that's gonna be a whole separate video. So if y'all wanna see that, make sure to tap in. So I'm only gonna do one fruit today because you need to make sure you're testing one food at a time so you know if they have an allergy. At least that's what our pediatrician said. So baby, what do you wanna try today? Do you want mango or do you want pineapple? Mango or dumb pineapples? Let me show you guys her, she looks so cute. Do you want mango or pineapple, mama? Let's do some pineapples. Some yummy pineapple. So I'm just gonna stick 
I could probably fit like two small pieces in here. So here's how you do it. And then you just, and now it's like a little popsicle. It's, oh no, let me put your bib on because I already know. Okay, sorry. You ready? TT. You taste something? Okay. You are, are you trying it? I know it's yummy. You're trying it. Let me call my mother-in-law because she's probably going to like love this. Oh, <laughs> Yep, it's inside of it. So there's a piece, two pieces of pine, frozen pineapple in there. So it's also like a tea there because it's cold. It's really giving Chefiana. <laughs> These are meatballs. This is Bengali sauce. I think that's how you say it. Basically, y'all, we'd be on our HelloFresh for real because it just gives so quick hope. Hope for a better meal. I feel like I really snapped. Thank you. You can't have none of this. Okay, so update y'all. Genesis liked the pineapple. She really did. We're gonna continue to give her pineapple for the next couple days to see if she is okay with it. Yeah, I'm gonna be checking her diaper. They said they might get diaper rash from pineapple, so make sure you- Really? Yeah, make oh, sure. Oh, the acidity? Like the citrus? Probably. Burning a little booty. Okay. We're about to turn on perfect match, y'all. We love, hold on. We literally love dating shows. Like, give me the corniest dating show. No, I love it. Do you see how I Like, I don't have the patience for HelloFresh, but when I do, yeah. You gotta just hit him with. Hit him with a little boom. Hit him with some little seeds. So I'll give you guys my review on the perfect match. I was crying because Bartice is on there from, um, <laughs> what is he from, Love is Blind? Yeah, Bartice is from Love is Blind. Wow, I really did it. Here is dinner for tonight. Prepared by yours truly. Yeah, I be feeling like an old white lady because I feel like old white ladies eat activities. But it is what it is. Okay, so we are late. As always. It's. What's today? What is today? Wednesday? Yeah, today is Wednesday. And it's going to be a good day. I literally did not want to work out today. I woke up, I was like, immediately no. That's why I'm wearing a t-shirt. Girl, I don't know. You see that I made those Brussels sprouts yesterday? Brussels sprouts give me the worst gas. I was in the bed fighting for my life. Like, I'm sorry, Javon. I told him, like, I don't know what's going on today. But my stomach was literally, like, cramping. Mm. I need to leave the house in two minutes, but... I need to stop just eating yogurt before I work out. Oh, Javon got bananas. I'm gonna eat a banana too. Basically, me and Allie are about to go get it in. I love working out with Allie because we really be pushing each other. So it's gonna be a vibe. And today, um, I was supposed to film this video today, but the nail shop's closed. I was gonna do like a postpartum self-care video because like, I just been in my postpartum and I really wanna give the girls hope because there's hope on the other side of this. It's gonna be a really cute video. I've been planning it out in my head for the past two days. It was the nail shop's closed, so I won't be able to do that till tomorrow. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do today. We might have a day out because I need at least one day out a week, but tomorrow's gonna to be my day out, day out, so I don't know what we're gonna do. Mm. Let me eat this yogurt and I'll talk to you on the car. Ooh, girl, I just got done working out. I took a shower, washed my hair, 
feeling good. Need to do my lashes though. Need to do my lashes though. <laughs> oh, girl, I literally have like four drops of this left and I'm determined to get it out. This is the best leave-in you can possibly get from Camilla Rose. Let's see if Camilla got anything for me. Camilla, please don't play me, girl. Like I need something for the day. I need to go to Target and get some more of this because it's literally that good, y'all. Like, oh, and it makes your hair smell like cake. Do you see how like nice this hair is? Tangle free. I need to do some edges today. So here's the plan, y'all. Um, I had a really great workout. Unfortunately, my storage was full, so I wasn't able to get any videos for y'all, but y'all have seen a girl workout millions of times, so y'all kind of know the vibes. But today's workout, y'all, was literally so amazing. Like, it really gave what it needed to. So I got that good workout in, and then I went to the sauna, because y'all know I love the sauna. Sweated it all out, and I came home showered and stuff. It's literally gonna be 77 degrees in Atlanta today. What? It's crazy. So Javon and I really, really, really wanna go to the park with Genesis. Um, like I said, I can't film my video today, so that's kind of a, it's kind of a bummer, you know? Kind of just in limbo currently. Girl, what about really giving a girl's British, British, British? But that's kind of the plan for today. I don't know if we're gonna make Genesis' food today because we don't have the, the veggies on deck, but if we're going out, we might just stop and grab some. I'm so hungry, y'all. All I ate today was that yogurt and that banana, and it's 12. It's time for lunch. I low-key wanna like go out and grab some coffee because I am so hungry, and I really just wanna eat something super quick. <sighs> I don't know about this hair today. I always, I've like been a loyal member of the Woman Evolve delegation for so long. So I was listening to her podcast this morning and it is so good. She like interviews different women and gets just different perspectives on, you know, their life experiences and all that type of stuff. And today's episode was learning to love vulnerably. And this girl talks about you know, how she was overweight for a majority of her life. And she went through a lot of trials just dealing with her self-image until she got to a point where she learned to love herself vulnerably through Christ. Because when she saw herself how Christ saw herself, there was no way she couldn't love herself. Because we are so beautiful to God. And when we can, if we can just view ourselves halfway how God views us, just 50% just how God views us, like we would, exemplify so much more self-love because god sees us without flaws like god really <sighs> loves us vulnerably and i think god's love is so special because god knows every intricate detail about us despite that he still loves us so she said when she started looking at her life and herself through a lens of god's love that's when she really started to experience self-love and i love that because sometimes we do get caught up in how the world sees us and getting validation from the world but it's like the world never made you girl god made you crafted you put you here on earth for a reason and you were made exactly how you needed to be made now it is also up to you to steward your mind body and soul which allows you to show up better in the world but god has already put everything you need down on the inside of you thank you somebody this is literally the best one from Sol de Janeiro. I do not like the light pink one. I think the light pink one smells like Baccarat and I really dislike the smell of Baccarat like I told y'all earlier. It's just not the vibe. It smells like an old woman to me. Like That's also how I feel about that one Chanel perfume though that all the girls used to love. It used to smell like an old lady to me. So, no hate to the Baccarat wears. You're just giving the girls timeless. <laughs> I look cute. We might go out to get some coffee. I'm not sure, but I don't know how I'm feeling about these curls either. Like what is going on? I don't know what our next venture is, but I will keep y'all updated. And we gonna get in. Get it to it, baby. <laughs> 
So we just ordered and I'm gonna do a food review for you. <laughs> if you ever wanna go to Queenie's. Um, I got the prime biscuits, or I got the prime, I got the prime brisket sandwich, some mac and cheese, some coleslaw. Javon got a whole bunch of stuff and then he had the nerve to be like, oh, we should get an appetizer or a snack. I'm like, dude, you literally just ordered like four meals. The guy was like, yeah, you got a pretty good amount of food. So, <laughs> like, you be trying to order the whole menu when you go places. So we're waiting on our food now and then we're gonna head outside. Yo, we have not explored our town until now and it's really so dope. Like there's so many parks, there's so many families out. Like it's really nice out today, y'all. So it's definitely a lituation, you know? I love family time. Here's baby Genesis. We'll meet y'all outside. Oh my gosh, this food literally looks insane. This is like, I don't even know what this is called. This is mac and cheese, okay? And then this is mac and cheese with like some type of, it's called rednecks lasagna. <laughs> very questionable the fries look amazing i love a crispy fry lots of salt and the potato salad looks really good as well so javon went to grab some sauces and then we're gonna test it out father thank you for the food thank you for our family thank you for life um, I just pray for energy uh, from the school we pray that you bless the hands that prepared it uh, we thank you for provision uh, we honor you in jesus name we pray okay, I'm gonna you the first up we've got the brisket sandwich and then this is the barbecue sauce. All of them. They're all different barbecue sauces? This sauce? is ketchup though. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, that's it right there. I don't even try them all. This, is, this ain't ranch, this is barbecue. That's barbecue? Mm -hmm. All these are barbecue sauce. They're known for all the different barbecue sauces. They got all these different barbecue sauces. Okay, this one's more vinegary. That might be the, this is the sour. Mm, honey mustard. Okay, let's take the first bite. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, why are you eating all the more? This is way too good, Javon. Okay, so next up we got some potato salad. The mustard one pretty good. Let me give y'all. That is white. Mm -hmm. That's a good staple. You could definitely taste the mustard. Is it Alabama white barbecue? No. Their mac and cheese may be their downfall because look at this. It's giving craft. But let me see. Oh, it's actually cheesy. Never mind. Mm. Oh, dang. Hold on, Queenie. Mmm. Did you try the mac and cheese? Let me try. My favorite thing is the brisket, though. The brisket is like undefeated. And then the fries. Pretty good. The potato salad is pretty good. Y'all, I tried their fries already. They literally taste like five guys. They're so good. have an avocado toast and some hash browns what else with a me a medium caramel macchiato is that hot or ice iced what else that's all okay i'll see you at the window thank you it is very much it is nail day y'all i've been really putting in the work slaving behind my nails y'all know i've been doing my own nails for a minute now and i'm just i just want to relax i really just want to have like a little mommy stay out because that's so important girl so i was like let me go ahead and get myself a pedicure and i have this really cute nail idea y'all i feel like it is literally going to deliver yesterday was so cute y'all we had a family a little fun day a little outing it was literally so cute and I, I just never fail to cry my eyes out every time I'm living in those moments because like this is stuff I wanted as a child, I envisioned as a child and to see the beauty of what God has done in my life, like my family, I've like, above anything girl, above 
any of my accomplishments, my family is my number one accomplishment because it is the most fulfilling thing being with my me and my daughter. Like, I was just feeding Genesis today and I'm like, you're really my daughter. I can't. Okay, let me show you my nail design. Hello. I will never forget the time I posted like, I literally posted a picture of my belly on my story and I had like, hello, like, it looked like the baby was ready to say hello. My stomach was so big. Somebody slid up talking about some, is that the baby's name? What? <laughs> Sometimes people just be saying stuff. But anyways, I'm so excited to go get my nails done, get a pedicure. I don't even want to talk about it because my feet have literally been going through it y'all it's sickening so it's just a, a day out for the mother you feel me thank you looks so good thank you so much this is a good caramel macchiato y'all just gotta give it a nice little i'm back on my duncan basically um oh shoot y'all i'm literally supposed to be making a whole tiktok right now i'm trying to be in my tiktok era and I'm honestly really proud of myself. Like it was one of my New Year's goals of it all to be more consistent on TikTok. And your girls been posting like three times a week. And I feel like my videos look so good and they be doing really good. Like the girls be messing with me on the top, period. I low key might, I don't wanna be eating and driving. Let me like literally part to film this clip because this is ridiculous. Ah! And I don't wanna show my nails cause they look so crispy. But I mean, I guess it's literally a nail day vlog, so don't understand. That's gonna have to do, because I'm not about to mess up. Oh my gosh, so basically I wanna talk about postpartum. So I'm approaching seven months postpartum, which is crazy because Genesis literally just turned six months, but like she'll be seven months in a couple weeks crazy crazy that's insane that's literally insane i can't so i've really i've really had some time to sit in the postpartum period and this is just what i have to say your mind already gets like what's the word not messed up but your mind changes so much during pregnancy and your body changes and there's just there's so many changes going on and then postpartum it had a lot of ups and downs. So I remember in like the first couple months, I definitely felt like that baby blues. I remember I would just cry. There were a couple occasions where I was crying for legitimately no reason. My hormones were just so out of whack. Like what happens to your body after pregnancy? Like we need to talk about this for you. Literally had a child inside of you. And then one day the child's gone. Like the one day the child literally is not inside of you anymore, but you grew this whole human for nine months and you got so like connected to this child and then they, they're they gone forever, like forever. Like they'll never, ever, 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 ever be back in your stomach. And that's where, you know, the, the, the postpartum of it all can come in because your mind and your body are going through so many intense changes at one time. So I would definitely say the first couple of months of postpartum for me were very intense. Thankfully, I don't think I ever went through postpartum depression. I say I went through like the baby blues because that's what it felt like. There were just days where it was just overwhelming emotion. I couldn't even put it into words. But there's some women who really for months on months on months are going through a depression. And that is so sad because it's already so much happening when the baby's here. And having to battle with like internal struggles on top of that. But I would say I am starting to feel. Now let's fast forward seven months. I'm starting to honestly feel like who I'm supposed to be not who I was but like who I'm supposed to be I'm starting to accept my new body that was really big for me y'all like I literally gained 70 pounds with Genesis and going from one weight that you're, you've been so used to to a drastically different weight is so hard and obviously dealing with like I have really bad stretch marks y'all like I don't know if the girls don't be having bad stretch marks because when I say I have stretch marks freaking everywhere like my thighs down my legs like everything has stretched because your girl was eating when or genesis was eating when she was in the womb like she was trying to get it in and i suffered because of that but i would say like 
there is literally beauty in accepting who you are right in this moment like not who I'm gonna be when I lose the weight not who I'm gonna be when I tone up but who I am right now like our bodies are literally the MVPs but they're not talked about enough like the fact that my body woke me up this morning and I was able to come drive and get my nails done that itself wouldn't have happened if my body wasn't healthy enough to do that so we have to give our bodies appreciation I feel like I'm preaching to somebody because sometimes we just be waiting like when I get here I'll be happy and God's like you can be happy with what I've given you with what I've placed in your hands and be a good steward to that and then I'll increase so baby all of this goes to say your girl is back in her new baddie era okay because we fell off for a minute with the confidence oh but we back now oh <laughs> i'm just feeling like the baddie that i've always been i'm realizing the baddie i've always been anyways i'm about to go in and really eat this food hopefully they can do a pedicure for me first because baby i got to eat and we're, it's about to be a nail day y'all so I'm gonna try to be recording my TikTok and my YouTube video at once. I really don't know what it's gonna give, but hopefully your girl can multitask. Five in the morning. She a baddie, she knows she a ten. 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 And she a baddie, she <laughs> Cause baby, one thing about it, my good sis Amy, like I freaking love good customer service, y'all polish lounge nail spa in woodstock georgia they get me right every time they were doing my feet and my hands at the same time oh oh girl was scrubbing for her life i was like thank you ma'am she massaged my feet for like 15 minutes yeah thank you i just really appreciate that like i feel very valued as a customer and then they gave me some cute little sandals y'all my feet look so good like i got these and then i got black french toes trust me they look so good together and like it's like a thin french it's just it's the vibe so i really low-key want to go to ross but i should be good and just come home and let me call javon and see like what he's got going on i'm gonna be like hey how are you what's going on with you what's up baby oh you're so you so sexy mm. <laughs> you so sexy Mm, you so fine. I love your nails. Wait till you see my toes. Like, Miss Girl was really getting in there. Ooh. Ooh, an all black ninja. I'm about to come home. I was going to go to Ross, but I'm going to just come home. We're getting ready to go to that marriage revival situation that I told y'all about. You would think I would not be recording because we literally have like 10 minutes to get out of the house. But your girl's got to look cute if I'm about to be on the panel, you feel me? So we just, she emailed over the questions for us to look at so we can kind of, you know, get a feel for the vibes. And it's really just going to, I mean, talk about marriage in all aspects, emotional, physical, spiritual, like how do you keep the fire going? And ours is like a new newlywed perspective. That's why we're on the panel. And then we've got some people who've been married for decades. So it's just going to give like, contrast to different types of marriages and we're also a younger marriage and i think we're one of the few people in our church with a younger marriage it's literally time to go y'all so let yeah, me finish you want breakfast right because we need to go get some food real quick so let me do my makeup get dressed and yeah, i will talk to y'all in the car oh uh, every time i take a pill i feel like it gets stuck in my throat but it's probably because I'll be taking like six at one time. I'm doing hard swallows. Okay. We are on our way to the said marriage revival. So basically, y'all, we're going to go in the panel that we're speaking at. Um, starts at what time? One. 145 so i'll try to get some footage of that if i can hopefully i can so y'all can kind of see the vibes but yeah we're excited let's let's revive our marriage yeah today really is about renewing you know pastor scott has already made it known that our word for this year is renew and so as a church body we are definitely focusing on renewing 
But in terms of our marriage, we also want to focus up on our marriage and what that looks like to renew. On the screen, y'all see something real quick. Y'all see, y'all see a slide. Y'all see a slide, all right? On the slide, we see two people looking at something. We see two people looking at something, right? Person on the right is looking at something. Person on the left is looking at something. Yeah, everybody see that? I see a nine. I see a six. Well, I see a nine. <laughs> no, 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 no. I see a six. Um, no, it's clearly. Next slide, Javen. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> My marriage is good. Well, my marriage is God's. Mm -mm, girl, well, listen. <laughs> my marriage is good. Well, my marriage is God's, and there's nothing better than God's. I can't really fight with you on that right now. Okay. <laughs> Let me ask y'all a question. Who's right? Both. Are you sure? Yeah. Perspective. Yeah. Say, say that word again, Ron. Perspective. Perspective. Yeah. See, it, it, it's interesting because a lot of times when we come into a marriage, we come into it with our own perspective Amen. and the perspective that we come into the marriage with that many times it, it kind of leads it runs it guides right mm -hmm. and, and it causes good times and bad times because we, we're coming into this thing from our y'all say it with me perspective perspective, perspective right mm -hmm. and, and, and those perspectives that we come in with they come from, you know, the, the different ways that we, we lived. We heard Demetrius talk about driving from L uh, Las Vegas to South Cat, right? And, and that was something that, that he grew up doing, right? So th this was his perspective. And it created this thing on the inside of him called an expectation. Mm. Okay. So now because he lived it, he did it, he experienced it, it becomes this expectation that he now has. Happy Sunday. We are about to get ready to watch church, but like clearly I look crazy. But I was on TikTok this morning. I shouldn't have been on TikTok this morning. But here I am scrolling on TikTok and I see s'mores pancakes. They like this is not even doing it justice. They look so good. So what am I doing? I'm literally about to make s'mores pancakes. Like basically I got the batter. I crushed up some Girl Scout cookies, the, these ones. She used a different cookie for her topping, but this is gonna be freaking amazing. And I'm about to melt down some marshmallows. <laughs> it's literally nine o'clock in the morning. And then I'm gonna melt down some chocolate as well. There's just like, I have to, I have to try it. I have to try it because my mouth was watering watching that. And I'm like, listen, if we have the ingredients, why would I not try it? This just has to be as good as it looks, y'all. There's literally no other way. And if it's not, I've been played. Trick, you always know your pan's hot enough when the oil runs like water. Let me go ahead and make two pancakes. I'm not gonna do the layers like she did. Like I just want one singular pancake because that's very much a lot what she had going on. Um, hopefully this is enough for a second one. Javon's probably not gonna eat a lot anyways because he thought I was crazy because I was making this, but I was like, this looks so good. Okay, so yesterday the marriage thing went very well, y'all. They actually switched and we didn't end up doing the panel. They wanted to switch it up and have the whole crowd do the panel basically. So we still got to answer questions and all that type of stuff. We just weren't on stage doing the panel. And we um, heard from the speakers. It's so hot in here, y'all. I don't know what's going on. And it was just the overall really, really good insight onto like healthy marriages. And such. First of all, I made a perfect pancake. So we're gonna take some marshmallow, melted marshmallow, glaze it. Very much glaze it. Glaze me damn. Glaze me damn. Graham cracker. Y'all, this is about to be so good. Oh, this looks like a restaurant, restaurant, restaurant. This look like a restaurant, restaurant. You telling me you see this on the menu, you're not gonna get it? Ooh -wee. Oh, wow. And just like that, perfection, perfection. Come on, you gotta try it with me. Here. We're gonna try it, y'all, before we end this vlog. This, tell me this doesn't look. <laughs> it do look pretty good. 
It looks it look diabetic. Very much diabetic, but let's go ahead and give her a go. Well, thank you for this food that nourish our bodies. Nourish. Black people love to say, well, thank you our, for this food. Let it nourish our bodies while they eat in. <laughs> the most unnourishing foods. But I don't know what else to say. That was mad good. That's mad good. Thank you. You could have given me more pancake. Are you kidding me? Oh, maybe it was a little pancake. I mean, I have a lot of better luck. You can have mm -hmm. some of mine. Who's that? Yeah, I did it. Mm, I like that. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Mm. You have you heard it here first, folks. I like that a lot, actually. It got a little crunch with a little soft in the middle, but like I like the crust. Yeah, I does this. Okay, y'all, that's the end of this vlog. Literally, the end. I am gonna start vlogging tomorrow though, so I'll see you guys next week. Thank mm. you for picking up my call. I love you, boo. Have an amazing week. I'll call you later.